Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Dragonflight and our post-campaign content. So on this character so far, we have beaten the main story campaign, and we've been working a little bit on side content that we didn't finish, and we've also been progressing this campaign quest, which are the Challenges of Tyr. So we're probably going to pick up with that today. And we're also going to queue up for some dungeons and keep doing those. And as you guys can see, I did race change ready. our shaman from a dwarf to a Draenei. The biggest reason was because I didn't like the lower camera perspective of the shorter character. If you can believe that, also a lot of times like clutter effects would be taller than our character on the dwarf. And I found that pretty troublesome as well aesthetically, so... We are much taller now, and I think I'm going to be much happier visually watching the stuff that's going on on the screen uh, with the different camera angle, the higher camera, and just not being covered by all the ground clutter and, and stuff like that. So I think it should be good, but yeah, I think we'll go ahead and kick things back off with the quest here. I'm going to toss this in the queue for just a random dungeon. We, we're pretty close to being able to do uh, some heroics, but we're not quite there yet. We'll just go in as DPS for now. Greetings, mortal. The fourth challenge of tier, resourcefulness. The engine is close to reaching its full potential. All it requires now is power. See, this is a typo. That's why I can't read it. All it requires now is power core to process any essence put into it more efficiently. All it needs now is power core. So it would either need to be a power core or all it requires now is power, and you would take out the word core. So thank you Blizzard editors for destroying my brain's ability to read there for a second. Tyr left the knowledge of such devices with Watcher Iridius. Go into the Halls of Infusion and find him. I'm sure he will help you with whatever you need. Halls of Infusion. Stance, do you wish to prove yourself worthy of Tears invention? I do. Then join me once more for a new challenge. Oh, this, this is in a time, dungeon. You shall need to venture into the halls of infusion and use your resourcefulness to seek out what is needed. Okay. Halls of infusion it is. Let's just go ahead and do that. I would like to continue this quest chain. So yeah, we'll just queue up specifically for that. Not sure how long it's going to take. It says average wait time 10 minutes, which is actually really good. So in the meantime, what kinds of stuff are we going to be doing in this playthrough at Endgame? Well, I'm going to become accustomed to maybe trying to look at the world objectives. Uh, I have not played a lot of Endgame World of Warcraft since Legion. Because I haven't really enjoyed that infinite AP grind that used to exist. Uh, that being said, there is a lot less of that in Dragonflight it seems. So I'm gonna try to ease into endgame daily content. That's kind of the point of this series is to see if we can ease into that. Um, I'm not a hardcore player. My perspective is always gonna be that of a casual player. Uh, but I'm a casual player with quite a bit of time on my hands so I don't I don't mind getting on and doing some endgame stuff. Uh, doing some solo stuff out in the world. And that's kind of what I want to do. I'd love to get into some mythics, some raiding. All that stuff is really interesting to me. I haven't raided in retail since the beginning of Battle for Azeroth. So, yeah. That's kind of a little bit of my history. Some of my goals here with this character in Dragonflight. I just want to have a good time every day. I, I love this class. Uh, I love the game. I want to get out and have a good time every day. I don't really mind what we're doing. As long as we are in some way progressing our character, I don't really care if it's like totally optimal. Uh, let's clean up some of this. And now forgive me while I remember how to play the class. Uh, because that's going to take me a minute. We've been doing a lot of classic recently. I We got to the end of the campaign, you know, in, in retail. So I stepped away for a bit to focus on the Joyous Journey experience buff leveling in classic. But that's coming to an end, and I've been really eager to get back into retail, get back into Dragonflight. And that's why we're kicking things off here today. Oh, 
I was trying to use him to spread my fire shock around, then he flew away, he got yeeted. For some reason. Uh, I hesitate to show this, but we will go ahead and put details up. And then just be like really sad, probably. I can imagine. I don't think we have a really strong AoE build uh, with what we have going on. That's kind of what we have if you guys are interested to pause and take a look at any of that kind of stuff. That is the enhancement spec that we're going with. And I, I will always take any input on how to play the class better. It, it doesn't mean that I'll always make changes or make them right away, but I would love to hear anything you guys think about the class, what I could do differently to be more successful. Things of that nature. Definitely always welcome here. <coughs> Alright, we have Watcher Iridius. More trespassers. Maybe we're supposed to peel off and deal with some of these guys. Let's not stand in whatever that is on the ground, that's for sure. Uh, it's getting hard to get out of it because I feel like someone's following us with it. Which is unfortunate. Okay, maybe we did not need to focus on the ads as much. The Iridius Power Core. Okay, so that's the Power Core that we needed for the quest, right? And we received a trinket with a bunch of mastery on it. Uh, the trinket is probably going to be an upgrade. Do I want to lose a bunch of agility for mastery? I honestly don't know. My instinct tells me no. But maybe we do. Okay, uh, yep. We can't do that in combat, obviously. Buffing our weapons would probably be a great idea. Like I said, took way too long off of playing the character probably through the holidays.
I'll just be back here skinning. I actually do need all these materials. Working on professions is also something we are definitely going to be doing. I don't seem really able to successfully spread my flame shock anymore with uh, with lava lash, and I I'm not really sure why. I'm trying to like figure it out. Okay, that spread it. Hmm. Maybe they have to be much closer than I was thinking about. It didn't spread it to the proto-dragon, although, well, no, I just cast it on him there. I think I need to revisit uh, either Wowhead or Icy Veins and kind of take a look at builds for the Shaman and probably redo the spec now that I've been away from the game for a couple weeks. I'm sure plenty of stuff has, changes, has changed. The dungeons are really beautiful, but everything dies so fast and the groups in, in retail move so fast that you don't ever get to look around or appreciate how beautiful everything really is when you're the player. It's all go, 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 spam, 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 you know, as fast as you can kind of stuff. But, you know, I guess you're going to run it a million times if you're that kind of player, so uh, but you're going to see it so much that maybe eventually you'll have an idea of what it actually looks like. Or we can enjoy some of what it looks like on the way out. But not too much, because we'll fall behind if we are too slow. Yeah, I don't feel like I have enough AoE. I don't really feel like I have any AoE. <laughs> In reality, I don't feel like I have any AoE. I can spread my, my Fire Shock around a bit. Uh, there's a little bit of AoE, I think, on Frost Shock. Fools, do you not see what that I, I, sorry, I'd done? like to skin, please. Thank you. It's much more important than anything going on up there right now. Okay, we avoided that one. That was impressive. Yeah, and chain lightning might be something I need to look at. Yeah, I should be popping chain lightning when I get that proc, I think, in most situations. Got some 346 gloves. A little bit better than what we have. Haste and verse are not like my ideal stats, I don't think, but we gotta get that item level up there. So we don't really have much choice. I do love in retail being able to queue up for a dungeon, do the dungeon, and then pop out of the dungeon exactly where I was, even though where I was was on my dragon floating, uh, about to like, splat myself against the rocks below. It's totally fine.
the waters flow again. There we go. Just a little turn in. Uh, so what do we want to do? We have a, a couple of quests in dungeons, but I feel like if we're just doing random dungeons, that would probably be fine. And then we have a bunch of uh, just world quests we could work on. Intellect trinket we don't really need. Definitely don't need a green. Rec uh, we, we could use any kind of reps. So see, this is where I'm not sure like the ideal things for like a, a casual solo player to do. My concept would just be to clear the world quest. Which they kind of said they didn't really like that design, but it seems like that kind of is maybe the design. And then beyond that, just uh, queuing up for random stuff. For random dungeon fun times. Let's just start clearing some things off the map. I don't really see why not. Our tribe holds a special connection to Wind Eagles. Descended from Onara herself. The nestlings and eggs are trapped in our overtaken village. Please, help save them. Alright, cool. Help save them. So we're going to have to go click on them, it looks like. At least doing some world quests, it'll, it'll keep us sharp. It'll, I should have done some world quests before doing the dungeon would have been smart. Because then I could have freshened up a little bit on the class. Etc. See, this is where I need to be using chain lightning. Let's do this. Oh, crap. Well, that was fun. Oh, uh, that was not... Not a good idea, though. <laughs> uh, fun times. Hey, you can definitely still die in retail. I do it all the time. And it's usually just pure fun stupidity be when it happens. A part of me thought my Earth Elemental was going to stay out and he was going to keep tanking those guys and I can just pop right back up and keep going. Obviously, when I died, he despawned. Even though I popped up right away, he still had to despawn, so... Uh, yep, that's good. Still got our buffs up. Let's maybe just try to not be quite so stupid this time. Oh, we don't get to share these with other players. We are competing for them. We are competing for them, which is strange. But I guess that's what's happening. Okay, we're just stuck on a rock. Yeah, I definitely like the higher camera and the the taller character model better than the dwarf. I liked the dwarf for, for lots of reasons, but ultimately, like, the camera thing was killing it for me. Being shorter than these little, like, stalks coming out of the ground, like, being about the same height was really bothersome. Just from, like, a visual perspective. Uh, and, yeah, the camera was just, like, too low. Too low to the ground. want to check a couple of settings. Sometimes they revert graphic settings if there's an update or something. Okay, that was the important thing. Uh, here we go. Yeah, more chain lightning when we get that proc. Yes, this is why I'm missing AoE. Okay, I see it now, guys. 
We we can get a little bit more AOE damage in five minutes. I see it now with the with with chain lightning being here instead of lightning. Now now I see the usefulness of not always just doing elemental blast. Okay, that's good. That's good to know now. Uh, better to know now than find out much much later. Uh, I do need to do this. Um, okay. I could have swore he was clickable like a split second ago, but now he's not, so... I kind of wish that fighting them also progressed the bar, but it doesn't seem like it does. It seems like we literally have to click the things that we're having to share with every other player. Like, he's back again. Can I click him this time? Oh, I have to click on the, the shell. Okay. We have to break the stuff around him, not not pry him free. Con context. Context. This guy is probably not going to leash. Then again, he did not interrupt us there, so let's keep going. Okay, the unstable totem did nothing for the quest. But it did cause us major problems with lightning. <laughs> so, note to self, don't click on these. Uh, they are bad. I don't know. This has no benefit to me. Um, it is more of an inconvenience than anything else. And I, I'm not sure how long it lasts. It, it could be a bit. I, I think it's over now. Yeah, we, we won't click on any more of those. Uh, this guy is is not going to go down without a, without a big fight. I don't think. I think we made a terrible mistake. Yeah, we, yeah, we made a horribly stupid mistake. I anticipate lots of dying in retail. I don't. I don't know how to play retail. Uh, I've played thousands more hours of classic than retail at this point. Maybe not thousands, but yeah, no, probably thousands. <laughs> You've shamed your ancestors. Yeah, no doubt, man. That stings because of, like, how true it is. You're dying on a retail world quest? You have shamed your ancestors. Pathetic. I don't know why I just ran up and tackled that elite. I'd never do anything like that in Classic. I blame Retail. It's, it's the game's fault. Joking. It's completely my fault for being an idiot and acting like an idiot. We could maybe take him alone. 
I, I have better feelings about that. Oh no, I have the same bad feelings. He hits so hard. <laughs> he just hits so hard, he hits like a truck. Not standing- Oh, you got me! Oh, I was trying not to stand in it. You still got me. Alright, we got him that time, guys. We didn't get anything out of it, and there doesn't seem to be a reason to do it. But we got him that time. What is this? Wind Blessed Hide. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I need that. For sure. Alright, I swear I'm gonna find some objectives, like, soon. Soon I'll find some objectives. Here's one. We can click this guy. Longest world quest ever completed, Robert Rambles 2023. In the Shikar Highlands. Oh, oh, look, the game is trying to help us. The Eagles are safe. There we go. Uh, we have an intellect trinket, so that's fine if we ever go with like an elemental spec. We'll hang on to it just in case, you know. Uh, what do we want to do next? Oh, oh, that's so rude of you. Just like we're sitting here planning and you just come up and hit us. Wow, just wow. It's nice to see so many players running around. Uh, do we want to hang out here? Is there anything we really need here? Maruk sent our commendation. What's our reputation looking like? The Winter Pelt Furbolg hate us. That's fine. Maruk is rank 7 already. We don't need them. We need Tuskar stuff. Where are the Tuskar? The Tuskar are in the uh, Azure Span, right? Yeah, we, we need Tuskar stuff. There's not a lot of Tuskar stuff going on. Dragon Scale Expedition. Uh, Proto Drake Slain. I'm not sure if that would help us. Hmm, I wonder... Well, I guess the time to wonder has come and gone. I want to head down there, I just... I feel like we're not tracking daily quests and stuff. Are there not dailies and stuff that we could be doing? Like to gain reputation with certain factions. It's none of these quests. I, I, I've looked at these. And I, I don't think these are it. We do have a couple of... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, see, that's the things that I'm not sure about that maybe you guys can help me with. Is So if I want to farm uh, uh, Iskara, Tuskar, Reputation, how do I do that? Like, what should I do? Besides just, like, try to fly into their areas and see what's going on, I'm kind of at a loss on that. That's the kind of stuff that I need help with. Like, I want to play daily. I want to do all the daily solo stuff that I can. I want to do as much group stuff as I can, but I need to know, like, what solo stuff should I be doing? And I know there are probably some of you guys out there who have, like, a daily grind that you do. I want to check out this world boss if he's going to be up when we get there. The magic surrounding this area has gone wild. This untamed instability is a threat to our allies. We're apparently Do never going to get any vigor back. Order. Uh, so what's going on with this? We got a hidden. <laughs> That's all that matters, I guess. There we go. 
Great work, everybody. You did it. You did it. Uh, so let's let's use that. Let's learn this thing. All right, so that was cool. Uh, let's see. Let's let's take a look. This looks like a normal quest. Proto Drake's be gone. So in Azure Span, we didn't finish all the actual side questing. So we could definitely work on that kind of stuff too. But yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to get us rep with anybody necessarily. Yeah, I don't care what we do. You guys let me know. Um, I want to I want to work on all my renown. I want to work on my renown. I want to gear up. I just want to play the game. I, I the game is beautiful. I really do have a great time whenever I get on here and just run around and do stuff. And I just want to play and be engaged with the game in any way that I can. To reclaim our legacy, we Aspects must restore the powers we relinquish to defeat Deathwing. Within I think I have a, a quest for this. Lies a vault oh, maybe not. that holds a disc of Keeper Tears memories. Find that disc and bring it back to me. It may contain the knowledge we need to regain our strength. Uh, let's go ahead and reset this. What's I think this? something weird happened. Intruders here to take our riches, I bet! Have we found any riches? We've been digging down here so long, I can't even think straight! No one steals from us! Time to teach these lunkheads a lesson! Yeah, that, that DPS meter looks a little different when using Chain Lightning, doesn't it, guys? Okay, I I, yeah. Swords, I see what I'm doing wrong now. This guy's move around too much. He's, he's moving all over the place. Now, now they're moving on their own. So one thing I'm gonna have to get better at is like following a tank around as he spasms around the room.
Yeah, I feel a little bit more useful to the group now that I know how to use chain lightning. <laughs> that is good. It makes me feel like not such a terrible person. Not this time, buddy. Nice work. That frog has been a real pest. We know how to open the door, but that ugly rockhead always kept us out. Want to see something nifty? What's this? That did it. Now let's see what we can find inside. Tears, marvelous mustache. Another locked door! Leave this to me! Shield charge! Boost! Oh, my head! Well, at least this lantern got the door open. <laughs> you better go on while Olaf recovers. Unworthy will not enter this hallowed place. Oh, we uh, we lost somebody. You know what? I don't have set up. I don't think I have. A group chat set up at all in any way. Uh, yeah. Let's go protected. ahead and we'll change that. Not bad. Not for you. Got a ring that we don't need. Some Has crit strike and haste on it. Hey, what now? All I see are books. Maybe we can find a few treasure maps. We'll have a look while you go on ahead.
Activating additional defenses. Target acquired. I guess we're avoiding red balls. And staying out of the template that gets laid down on a certain player sometimes. Enemy marked. Protocol. Power system shut down. Got it. Searching for whatever it is you folks are after. Yeah, we're calling dibs on this room. Safe travels all. you seek will be mine. I, I guess I didn't have to run right in. I, I could have waited for the tank. That's true.
Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we were standing in something bad or something very bad had happened to us that we just were not paying attention to. Uh, if we could, we could res. I think we can res. Somebody got him. Somebody got him. We have res spells somewhere. Maybe. I need to build out a third bar with some more utility on it. I just have been too lazy to do it. Two bars is not quite enough, it seems. This disc may hold the secret to the aspects regaining their power. But I don't want my UI to become super cluttered. That's the only thing about it. I don't want to have six action bars in a big now chunk in the middle of my screen. Is lost to time, just as you are about to be. In all timelines, you fail to stop me. The sands will scour you from this timeline. Can you feel your fate closing in? Sounds like Jedi and Sith battle music happening right now. Lost in the sands. You cannot even comprehend the infinite possibilities. Your efforts are impressive, but in vain. The timelines are converging. There will be only one aspect, and Murasan shall be infinite! Uh, we don't need this. Uh, actually, not only do we not need it, we already have it. So, yeah. Fun times. We're really ready to do heroics. We, we shouldn't really be queuing for any more normal runs, I don't think, because... I don't know if we're getting any upgrades for our, uh, ourselves, but we're not. When I go to queue for a heroic, it says we can't do it yet. We need 342. What's our lowest piece of gear? This cape needs to go. That, that's really the only cape we have? Oh man, the cape, the cape is literally holding us back. I bet I could find a cape on the auction house. Cape and boots, guys. Cape and boots. If we get a cape and boots, we can uh, we can get the heroics going. That's going to be really easy to do. Uh, we were heading over here for these proto drakes, uh, and then I saw a side quest. Okay, I'm going to need to install a, a, an add-on for quest tracking for retail. I, I need the quest tracking to show me where all the side quests are at so I can go back and grab the ones that we haven't done because I, I want 100% complete all the side quests uh, but when the game doesn't show them to me on the world map then I have trouble finding them. <laughs> so I'm gonna maybe, I don't know if Questy exists for retail but I'm gonna look into it and see if I can do a Questy for, uh, for retail because this is the stuff that I want. I, I want the side quests too that I haven't done. Uh, let's have a look here. Mossing the mark. So this bat fox thing is hurt. She must have gotten sick after eating something tainted. Luckily my grandfather was a druid and taught me how to treat arcane based illnesses. I don't have all the components on me, but we can make do with what's around. First I'll need some dra drake moss. It's a rare lichen that only grows on dragon bones. The Silverns aren't within the span of our assignment, Steria, and we have a deadline. She's suffering from arcane poisoning. Isn't that what we're studying? Healing Sylvie could benefit our research. Sylvie, 
It has a name now. Styria. I love the uh, chatter. I wish it was voice acted. Blizzard. Come on. Voice act these little side characters. I know you guys have access to top-notch voice actors that wouldn't mind stepping in and doing some lines for some NPCs. It'd be so much better if we didn't if we could just hear their voices, say the lines. What's your story? We are bound Prowling by polar enemy. predators. The species we've been sent to study is the fidget pelts. Their hunting grounds have been tainted by ley lines. Arcane energies leach into the water and into the plants, and into prey species like the silvern. But unlike other organisms, the frigid pelts survive the process and gain power from it. They also become aggressive, which is a problem. Engage a few and I will take notes on their strength and aggression. My report will help the Kirin Tora decide what to do for them. That's enough gabbing for me today. I like that it's not just go slaughter ten of these because that's going to help something. I like that there's a premise behind why we might fight them. That's pretty cool. It kind of stops us from doing the Proto Drakes. Let's go and do the Proto Drakes first. Uh, and then we'll come back for these guys. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Oh, we're we're defending the uh, we're defending the town. Okay, I see what's happening. Also, guys, more side quest here. I I knew this was one of the zones where we didn't finish everything. Uh, the Waking Shores and the Anoran Plains. We did a lot of uh, of the side quests. We I'd say we did most of what we came across. I'm horrible at these, by the way. I can't aim this thing worth anything, and I don't know why. There we go. Uh, we did a lot of those side quests, but by the time we got here, we we didn't do all of them. We didn't. We missed a lot in Theldrassus as well. So, I really want to find all these camps and see what's going on. This is Tuscar, so maybe this would give us our Tuscar renown. Who speaks before me? Greetings, Shaman. The magical dome is truly astonishing, is it not? But even though it protects us from the biting cold and the wilderness, we cannot count on the Kirin Tor forever. A few days ago, some of our most seasoned hunters ventured into the forest looking for food and supplies, but they never came back. Even though I know their leader, Old Grimtusk, is a seasoned hiker and hunter, it is very hard not to worry about him and his hunting party. Can you find them for me? I can, I hope they're alive when we find them. I'm sorry, did you say something? Artifacts in the wrong hands. We've got a, a myriad, no, an incalculable number of problems here. Myriad ne means, like, a huge number already. It's the same word. Oh man, where to start? So the Kirin Tor uncovered a Sundered Flame plot. They're after an artifact called Valthrix. It's immensely powerful and sentient? That's an exponential increase in danger if you're keeping track. One Alia Sunsor went south with a pair of Tuskar to investigate the Sundered Flame. She should have been back by now. Please find her and stop the Sundered Flame from acquiring the artifact. Until next time. So the side quest in Dragonflight are so well done. I, I love them so much, and I feel like the stories told in them are very interesting. Um, yeah, so I have a blast. I love how they're using like the engineering tables as like just things to be seen around in the environment. Okay, uh, let's see here. Lots of stuff going on all of a sudden. Um, so we should probably just work on this stuff right here. We've got dark moss clumps, infected fidget pelts. I probably need to uh, do some organizing here as your span. Showing some quests would be a good idea. All right, I think that's good. I, I wish we had an option to hide world quests. I wish we just had like an option on the... Uh oh, look at that. 
Okay, so if I wanted to know how to get reputation with a certain... Fa oh, guys, I'm so dumb. I've been staring at this all along, and I just, like, didn't put two and two together. Look at that. Okay, I've answered my own question almost an hour later. I know exactly how to target at least one of the ways we can target rep now. Very cool. I like it a lot. Good job, Blizz. For the horde. Okay. All right, that's good. Let's continue down over here. These things are kind of cute, not going to lie. They're kind of adorable. Even though they're all corrupted and purpley. Uh, we, we aggroed something. It says we, we aggroed something. I'm just not sure what. Something doesn't like us. Let's go ahead and we will run out of the area and maybe we will figure out what has aggroed us or maybe they will drop one or the other. chipper looking one watch your back she scribbles down notes in her journal yes yes this is all very helpful hopefully the Kirin Tor will be able to use this information to help these uh, help others afflicted by this arcane sickness Farewell. I don't understand how killing fidget pelts isn't interference but healing Sylvie is removing afflicted fidget pelts heals the ecosystem and it gives us information we can use later and if we heal enough animals we'd get the same effect Kelly why do you still not trust my methods Hysteria, it, that's not it. I. Hmm. Hello. Good luck, friend. I may be a mage, but sometimes natural solutions are the most effective. Goddess, watch over you. Okay, so we've got more stuff going on here. I hope I didn't upset Kelly. 
I want to help Sylvie, but I don't want to delay Kelly any longer. To give Sylvie the medicine, I need arcane infused quills from Crystal Pine. I'm sure they won't mind if you pluck a few off. And mind the Bakar. They eat Crystal Pine and might get mad at you for touching it. If you do have to defend yourself, you can collect some spines from them as well. Be careful. What can I do for you? Keep your chin up, Vitamins eh? and minerals. I suppose I should have expected that Stereo would be upset at me asking you to fight the animals. There are, of course, alternate research methods. Take these vials and collect some water from the nearby ice crystals. I theorize that they contain minerals infused with lay crystal energy and may be fueling the outbreak here. Good day. Well, let's keep doing stuff for these guys. It's all it's just incredibly right nearby. So... I almost went to jump off here as if I could soar, and it turns out that I can't. <laughs> We're plucking crystal spines off of little porcupine guys. Oh, hello. There's a suspicious crystal here. I'm not going to click it. It's red. I, I'm not going to click it right now. <laughs> we'll probably be surrounded by electricity or something if I, if I click it. These samples should give us a more complete picture of how the outbreak is spreading. Watch your back. Be careful handling the quills, they are very sharp. Thank you, Rambles. You didn't hurt yourself on the crystal pine, right? Good luck, friend. There, now I have all I need for Sylvie, and just in time, I doubt she would have lasted much longer like this. But I need someone to help me. I'd ask Callie, but would you mind assisting me again? Let me know when you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Goddess, watch over you. Mix those ingredients in the mortar and fill the quills with paste. Steria, you're gonna hurt yourself. Get Gabin or get going. Steria needs your help. That's enough Gabin for me today.
administer the medicine. So we help them out. Hopefully they will work out their relationship problems. He's attacking me. He's not ha attacking. He's happy to be healed. He's your buddy now. He's your buddy. How may I help? I've healed her, but she is clearly still in distress. I wonder Good if... Good luck, friend. Now that she's healed, I think Sylvie wants to show us something. Our work isn't done yet, Rambles. Let's see what's upsetting her. Alright, Sylvie, lead, lead us to what's troubling you. And Kelly, I know you are skeptical of helping Sylvie, but thank you for your help, my love. You're welcome. I just worry that our higher-ups will think we're slacking. And if that happens, I'll take responsibility for myself. Now let's go help Sylvie. Oh, you guys are just gonna bail on me. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see how it is, guys. Why are we here? Ice giants live in this cave. What brings you here? It's faint, but I can hear what sounds like kits in the cave. This is bad. If Sylvie is in distress, that must mean it's her kits that are in there. While she was infected, the giants must have kidnapped her babies, and she was too weak to save them. Kits are energetic at this age. Hopefully they've all been quick enough to evade the giants until now. Make use of my invisibility charm. Quickly, you must save them before they're eaten. Good luck, friend. Do I need an invisibility? Oh, I'm going to use the invisibility charm on the kits. We don't need the invisibility charm because we're just going to have to kill everything in here. Starting with you. Very cool looking giants, by the way. If I haven't talked about it enough already, uh, all the artwork is absolutely amazing. Uh, nothing down here. Well, we can fight our way back here. We wanted to get out of that, and we really meant it. We would have needed to try a little bit sooner than we did. They're like on us. That's adorable. <laughs> How many of these guys are we going to stack on our head? <laughs>
I mean, how great is that? It's just great, and it's adorable. Hello. Farewell. Now that Sylvie's healing, these kids will be in good hands. Uh, paws, claws. Be careful. There we go. You have my thanks, Rambles. And Kelly, I'm sorry for stressing you out. It's all right, Steria. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. You know, this is a good case study for our research of lay sickness. We should add it if we finish everything else. Really? Well, let's get back to researching then. There we go. Uh, we did good. I feel like we did a pretty good thing today. Uh, we do have uh, some breadcrumbs right now taking us to various places. I do want to head back to Theldrak... Theldrazis though, or Veldraken, sorry. The city, not the whole zone. I want to head back to Veldraken and we have a couple of things that I want to get turned in there. Uh, that was probably not the way I wanted to do that at all, actually. Not even remotely. I keep the faith. This was for the Halls of Infusion that we ran. Uh, nothing that we really need out of this, I don't think. Finger... We don't need it. Trinket is another mastery one. It's a cool looking helmet though. It's a couple item levels higher. We will return these isles to their glory. Pretty cool looking. Matches everything else we're wearing. We'll show it for a little while, then I'll find a transmog probably to take it off. Uh, what else did we have to turn in? We have uh, this over here. Let's go do these first. So yeah, I mean, I don't have any like specific reasons for working on these. I don't have, I don't think I have a lot of like goals that I care a lot about within the tracks. I, I just want to go for completion. I know there's like probably some cool cosmetic stuff for like crafting and things like that. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of doing it to do it. You know what I mean? I, I want to unlock everything I can and just see what that's like. Null backpacks, all of it sounds really cool. Obviously it's, it's like cosmetic stuff. Ancient Waygates. A pair of ancient Waygates that can be used to transport between Ruby Scale Outpost and Cobalt Assembly. That seems good. Ruby Scale Outpost and Cobalt. I need to figure out what those areas are too. I've seen the Cobalt Assembly and it feels like it's supposed to almost be like a Maw-ish outside zone area. Yeah, the Cobalt Assembly is... Right up here. And I haven't really figured out what we're supposed to be farming there or doing there. And I wonder if the ruby place is similar, but for uh, the reds. Any help you guys have on that, I would appreciate. Just 
a little bit of knowing what we could do as a casual solo player hello. at Endgame. Uh, hello again. I'm going to be the best fisherman in the village. I caught a giant piranha once. I tried to, it tried to eat my face. Uh, okay, I definitely will do that. I want to I level up fishing. It's one of my goals. Uh, let's see. Let's head over here and uh, get the dungeon one turned in. Perhaps it was these enemies of order that kept Tyr, uh, that Tyr wished to defend against. At least the loss of Watcher Iridius can still be a victory for us. By his power core, we may power the engine, and part of him shall always live on as the creator of, as a creation of Tyr. Perseverance rewards. So that was the fourth challenge completed. Let us see if you are worthy. Alright, uh, and that's all she has for us right now, actually. Soaked in- oh, that, that's because we're tracking this is why it's glowing. So yeah, no other main story quest going on right now. I guess the next thing we're trying to do is we're going to try to just to earn more reputation, which will be something that we <laughs> finish up pretty quickly. Reach Renown 12 to continue the story. So that's for the Veldrakan Accord. We have stuff for Dragon Scale Expedition, for the Tuscar. So this is also what we want to do. If, if we want to be doing reputation specifically, we should be looking at side quests for those factions. Veldrakan Accord to Dragon Bank Keep. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to take a break here for today, leaving things right where we kind of started. May you be but yeah, this is kind of the cadence I, I want to set for these episodes. I want to do some questing. I want to do some dungeons and uh, some professions. I just want to do the things that a person might do in a day if they were just a casual player who was at max level. I want to do raids. I'd like to do Mythic Plus. I'm not really a player to push too hard on that kind of content. I don't have a guild, that's the biggest reason. If I had a static group of people on Storm Rage Alliance to play with, uh, I would definitely be down to get more into that stuff, but I don't really have a lot of fun doing the looking for a raid. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a Pug Mythic. <laughs> so, chances of me pugging Mythic 5s are, I might do zeros or whatever just to like see them initially, but I'm, I'm not going to push Mythic Keys with pickup groups, I don't think. Uh, maybe we'll do some looking for Raid Finder if we can't find folks here on Storm Rage to play with. But yeah, hey, if you're on Storm Rage Alliance and you need an Enhancement Shaman, want to drag me along through some content, you've seen what I can do and what I can't. <laughs> so we'll get better. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. Let me know what you think. And if you have ideas on what we could do, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.